Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, so you've decided to bring home a cat as your perfect pet. The question is, is it going to be indoor or outdoor? Make sure that you Take a look at my other video where we talk about the pros and cons of having an indoor cat. In this video, I'm gonna share the pros and cons of having an outdoor cat. Welcome, my name is Sarah Surrett with Get Positive, and know that you can have a variety of both. As a matter of fact, I have four cats, and they are both indoor and outdoor, predominantly outdoor. But here are some pros for having an outdoor cat is that they're in their natural habitat, all right? They can go out and they can hunt, plenty of hunting, lots of mice on my property, lots of hunting and foraging, helps keep your rodent population down, gives them that outlet for the physical activity that they're gonna need. And let me tell you, they can run and jump. Sometimes they do little cameos up the tree behind me. And then the other thing that I love about having cats outside is that they find their own litter box. I do have a litter box for them in the house. And when you watch that video on indoor cats, you'll learn that that's something some might consider a negative. So the other thing with outdoor is that they can go out and romp and roam and they can find their own little perfect little sunbathing area, find their own corner for their litter box and all is good. But there are lots of dangers for outdoor cats. And the first thing I would say is take a look at your natural environment where you live and determine if it is in fact safe. There are cars, there are birds that can come down like hawks and snatch up your kitty so quickly. There are coyotes, some have mountain lions near them. Uh, there are raccoons sometimes. So there's lots of, and dogs even. So you wanna make sure that you are training your cat to stay in the vicinity, make it really worth their while to hang out near your house, get them on a feeding schedule so that they come back when you call them. My cats are actually all bell trained. So twice a day, I ring the bell and they get fed. So they know this is when we're eating. And normally before it's even dinner time, they've already congregated at the front of my garage ready for feeding time. So. The other negative though about outdoor cats is that you really make, have to make sure that they're vaccinated because there are a lot of dangers out there like rabies. If they do get into you know a, a, a mouse or a rat of some sort, you want to make sure that they their body is protected. There's also you know ticks and lice and lots of fleas outside. There's dangerous things that they can ingest that are hazardous plants. There's poisonous plants that can be on your property. So that's something that you're gonna to wanna to look for is that list of plants that are toxic to cats and dogs so that you can keep their environment as safe as possible near your home, all right? So the other concern about outdoor cats is sometimes, which has happened to me, they don't come home at night, you know? And that's scary, it can make you worry and it can make you stress and you hope that they find their way home the next day. So if you don't wanna worry about having to bring your cat in every day, wonder where they are, worry about them getting sick or hit by a car or taken away by a coyote, then you might really wanna consider keeping them indoor. And as I mentioned in the other video for indoor cats, there's lots of ways to in involve the indoor environment to help create their natural habitats that they would get outside. So I hope this video was fun. Let me know what you decide, indoor versus outdoor or a combination of both. Take care. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.